Hey guys, how's it hanging? My name is Austin Plays, and today it is Friday, and I have another video review for you, which is Dinobot Slash. Uh, the packaging has the um, Transformers the Last Night uh, style packaging with Transformers. Nope. Transformers right there. Nice crap. Transformers the last night logo right there. It's a beautiful CG rendering of Dinobot Slash in his uh Raptor mode. Um uh says he is a deluxe class right here. Uh says he is a Stealth Warrior, hold on, yeah, Stealth Warrior, and another beautiful uh, CG rendering of Slash right here. Um, and, yeah, oh, and a nice, uh, looking image of, of Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, and Drift. Mm. It says he transforms in 13 steps, so, not very complicated. Sorry for the little jump cut. I had to go eat. But, uh, yeah. Hey, right, looks pretty cool in the packaging that has a nice open when Joe the figure inside. Other people in the wave is uh, Bumblebee and Barricade, who we have already taken a look at. And now, let's get this guy open. It's so cool. He actually is. And here we have. Uh, Dinobot Slash opened up, and in his kind of weird looking, uh, Raptor mode. Um, now, I personally have seen Transformers Last Night, if you haven't seen it, watch it, it's a really good movie, kind of, like, paced weirdly, but, um, you will lo love it. I do not guarantee that. There's been, like, a lot of hate around it, but, uh... There's a lot of hate around it, but I mean, I I I personally think it's like a good movie. Oh, is it up in here? Uh, I think so. Looks weird though. Uh, this down? Yep. I think I turned from this guy uh, incorrectly. The the instructions were. Weird. I'm gonna say that's how. Uh, okay, so uh, weapon storage. Uh, he comes with these like little uh, axe blades. We just peg in right there. Uh, we're not pegging. They more like slot in. I mean. Uh, overall, pretty cool looking. Um, would I recommend this figure? If you're like a hardcore fan, like Dinobots, and one like if you have like all the ones from Age of Extinction, and you want to get like the full set like Dinobots from G1, yeah, I recommend this guy a lot. But if you want like um, a movie accurate cast of Transformers um, from the toy line. Uh, don't get him, he never showed up. Just like he, they released a green version, which I don't really have, um, to compare it to. But if you want, but, it, uh, this guy never appeared in either movies. And they also released the, uh, okay. Also, this back here, this, like, fin piece kind of plugs in to the back. Also, tell me, uh, tell me in the comments section down below, do you want me to do a Nerf battle? I did a Nerf, uh, if you haven't seen it, go check it out, it's the Nerf, um, High Noon, uh, not High Noon, um, High Noon from Overwatch. Which, by the way, tell me, guys, in the comments section down below, do you want me to play Overwatch? I am thinking about playing this, playing it on this channel, 
Also, I will be starting a second channel, which me and my brother you saw in my Ben 10 one, my Ben 10 uh, review, not review, Ben 10 um, uh, mix and match uh, battle royale, uh, which me and him are going to be doing like a bunch of like more videos on there. And sooner or later, when he becomes like a teenager, like 13, 14, one of those, he will be taking that over. But, um, yeah, back to the Slash. Actually, uh, do you want me to do a Nerf battle? Um, you saw, uh, me and the, you, the, uh, possible YouTuber, End of a Shadow, um, who, me and him are friends, actually. Uh, I have a bump on my head somewhere. And it hurts. Because I, uh, um, if you notice over there, I have a, a mantle. Uh, I, I bang my head on there. I wasn't looking where I was going and I just bang my- Here it is. I bang my head. So I have a like, little bump and it's kind of annoying me. But, uh, not on me. Not- This is not a me review. This is a... Dinobot Slash review. Now, for a couple size comparisons, I have... Uh... Crosshairs from Age of Extinction. If I do this... Angle this down. Uh, this is not the size you would see from a. Get my mouth out of the way. This is a. This is not a accurate representation of a car to a uh, dinosaur, specifically a raptor. Say this to say Grimlock or Scorn, which is the uh, T Rex. Uh, T Rex is Grimlock, and Scorn is um. A uh, Spinosaurus. That would actually fit with this. It doesn't. But uh, get him out of the way. Bring in somebody from the last night. Bumblebee. Same thing. Same thing with crosshairs. Yep. I just do this. Nope. This is your view. Yep. Here they are. They do not match at all. But I also have a Dinobot to show the size comparison. Move these out of the way. Get him back. Here is Dinobot Swoop or something. Uh, now this is not a accurate size comparison of a raptor to a uh, Tyrannodon or a um, uh, it's not an accurate representation of like size wise between a Pterosaur, Pterodactyl, or Pteranodon, to a Raptor. This does not match at all. But, um, let's get this guy transformed. So I'm gonna just move him out of the way. And angle the camera back up to me. Hello. Now, first, what you wanna do, uh, you don't have to do this, but remove the axe blades. And just, uh, just move them off to the side because there are the weapons. Now here you have Squawn without the weapons, which this is how I normally like, expected uh, Velociraptors to look because of Jurassic, World, Jurassic Park. Like, their um, raptors never had feathers. But what you want to do is, if you notice, right here, there is a black bar going to this... Also, like most of this stuff, like back here, the tail, the feathers, feathers everywhere, even the axis are all soft rubber. So I am actually worried that that is going to like break over time. But first, what you want to do is like, well, you don't have to do it, but there was head, there's his head. He's like right there, but um. Uh, untab here and fold around for both of these. 
angle the legs. And those pegs are actually for the shoulders. Yes, these are the shoulders. Now, uh, t uh, angle this and turn this and flip out the fist. And uh, turn it. And there you have one arm. Now, this guy has like a bit of a gorilla arm situation going. As you can see. Um, but, I mean, I, I don't mind it. Do the same thing on this side. Also, if you, if you guys like this video and want to see more, uh, go ahead and smash that like button. Absolutely destroy it if you want. And tell me what you guys want me to review next. Um, there is still Optimus, um, Berserker, and Grimlock left for Wave 1. And then I'm going to move on to Wave 2, which is not out yet at my local Walmart, which is where I picked these guys up. They are, at, Walmart, at my local Walmart, these guys go for around, um, I think if I, I think there's a price tag somewhere here. Nope. But these guys, um, go for 15 or 16 dollars, one of the two. Nope, uh, well, just do just all this stuff, you guys saw what I did. Also, I moved uh, this part up. But now you have the top part, top, now time for the lower half. First what you want to do is split the raptor head and accordion this up. And then close it, kind of even the like, underbite. And then take these, well just like un unpeg his entire head, or well, like raptor, and flip these down and flip up the boot. And then turn this around and you have one leg. The exact same thing on this side. And... Just straighten all the parts out. Give him his... Axes. And here you have uh, Dinobot slash open up and in his robot mode. And uh, overall, this guy is a good figure. Uh, would have looked great in the movie, seeing how he would actually transform. Because all these transformations are like what the toy does. I actually want to see like uh, what. Uh, they will look like NCGI. Now, uh, I assume this is how he would look if he was CGI. I want to assume anyway, but it could be wrong. But yeah, overall, good figure. Possibility wise, his head is not on a ball joint like all the others, his head only moves left and right. His arms, well, it kind of hindered by uh, these. You can move these, by the way. Uh, has a ball joint, goes left, right, goes forward, back, and up. Nothing down. Wrists uh, just do that. But if you do it too much, it would like uh, go into transformation. Which this just I feel like looks cool. But it does for both. Both the sides, uh, something out the way, but you gotta get these feathers out of the way. He has a little bit of wrist rotation. Uh, ball joints at the, uh, at the, uh, hip. Goes forward, back, and out. And rotates right above the thigh. I mean, right, right above the knee. Bends at the knee. And uh, nothing at the feet. Now, you will notice that I actually have him a bit mistransformed. Well, he, he can't stand. He, uh, not I can't stand him. I can stand him, yes. But he is ridiculously hard to stand. I cannot get him to stand him whatsoever. But, time for size comparison. 
I'm not gonna do the uh, the other three that I showed you, the uh, Cortez, uh, Bumblebee, and Barricade, because I mean, I just I, uh, they, they're still in vehicle mode and uh, they are like more difficult to transform than him. But I did transform Swoop or this is called Swoop because G1. Overall, they are. Oh boy. Okay. Staying wise, I'm gonna have to pull them up. Okay. Standing wise, uh, they are. Oh, God, there's no faint. Overall, they are roughly the same size. Yeah. Okay. I can. I. I can understand. I can understand. That's. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Now, I'm actually looking at them. As you can see me moving the background. Hello. They are... Swoop is a bit bigger, just because of his head crest. If you notice, he has like a bit of a head crest right here. Yeah. Put nothing behind it. No. Fine. He has a bit of a head crest. So he's a bit taller by that aspect. But other than that... They are about the same size. Uh, this guy is... This guy... I'm gonna get him out of here. If you want him for your collection, if you want to go like G1, I highly recommend him. Uh, if you want to go movie accuracy, uh, uh, if you want to go movie accuracy, he is fun to have, but he's not really he he he's, he wasn't in uh, Age of Extinction, and if this counts as a spoiler, I'm sorry, and he wasn't in uh, Last Night. Frankly, none of the Dinobots were in it except Grimlock. And Slug. Those are the only two Dinobots, like, and even that, they were, like, there for a split second when they were being chased, and then they're gone. No, like, where did they go? I, these are the questions I want answered. Uh, but, yeah, this has been the video review for Dinobot, uh, Slash, or even, I was about to say Slug. Yeah, a uh, good figure if you want him for G1 purposes, recommend him, movie accuracy. He's fun to have. If you just want like all the Dinobots, even including him, and if you can find like the other ones, like Scorn, no, not Scorn, Sludge, no, Slag or Sludge, Slag, and the uh, and the not uh, and the um. Uh, Stegosaurus and add him to it. Honestly, uh, if he would be in like the uh, movie, I think this would be like the color scheme for him. Like all the, uh, if you notice, all the Dinobots are like old. The uh, they don't have much color on them to the point where they're just silver. Um, but uh, yeah, this has been the video review for the Dinobot Flash. I get him to stand now all the time now for some reason. If you want to get him to stand, open up the heads. Open up about the same size. The, this one is a bit op more open. Wait, no, you can't see what I'm pointing at. Bam. Okay. So, don't forget to like, like, share, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to hit that little bell. Um, by uh, after you subscribe, so you uh, never miss a video I upload, and join the notification squad. And this has been Awesome Plays. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I sure did. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.